So during the month of July, recruiting has dominated our topic of conversations, and for good reason. When you look around the nation, there has been so much excitement in the realm of recruiting, it just makes sense. And today, uh, we're sticking to that topic of conversation because the Oklahoma Sooners continue their surge in the month of July, adding in another top 300 prospect today. This time, four-star linebacker out the state of Florida, Lewis Carter. We need to break down why this is such a great get for Brent Venables and company, what Carter brings to the table, and everything in between. But before we do, as always, y'all know the drill. I need to hear from you. Hop down to the comments. Why for yes and for no. Are you excited that Carter chose the Sooners? And let me know what you're thinking. If you are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe subscribe, hit that bell notification as I do constant college football content. You don't want to miss any of it. But having said all that, let's jump right into this because this is a fantastic addition for Brent Venables and company as this vaults them to the number nine class in the nation per 24-7 sports class calculator. And Lewis Carter is a phenomenally athletic linebacker. If you turn on his film, the one thing you're going to notice is they use him in multiple different positions. Whether we're talking running back, a traditional linebacker, they rush him off the edge and they even drop him into coverage that right there is telling and if you're talking about the translation from high school linebacker to college linebacker I love that they ask him to do all of those things especially coverage because here recently I've been on a kick whenever we've been talking about linebackers that I love when I'm watching their film and I see them in coverage at a high degree why, you may ask? Because if we look at modern college offenses, it's all about mismatches. And modern college offenses are picking on linebackers and asking them to cover tight ends to running backs out the backfield. And if you have a linebacker that's done that in high school and that's been asked to do that, that's just going to make that transition easier because he has a greater understanding as opposed to someone that may have never done it. Make no mistake about it. Amongst all the athleticism Carter possesses, he is a tone setter at the point of attack. When he makes contact, it's felt. And that right there is something you have to be phenomenally excited about because not only is this a guy that's going to be a thumper when he hits people, he's also really good at form tackling. He doesn't rely on the big hits. He's just as happy knocking someone out as he is doing a form tackle. And I love that because if you look, there are so many times we can see these prospects that provide big hits rely on the those big hits and that's all they're trying to do. I love that this is someone who has an understanding that not every hit is going to be a kill shot. There's going to be a time and a place to do those big hits, but for the most part, form tackling is the way to go. Because either you get them right there or you stop their momentum and allow your team to come up and help you make the tackle. That's how the college game is played, and I love that that level of understanding is already there. It makes complete sense that this is a top 300 player in the nation. Because specifically, he comes in at number 177 overall, regardless of position standing, Six foot, 210 pounds per his huddle. And there's a lot, like I've said, that you like in his film. From the tone setting ability to the coverage he's been asked to do, I think this is a very complete linebacker and one that fits what Brent Venables wants to do. Go back and check out what Brent Venables did at Clemson. Having a linebacker that has this much flexibility to play in your defense is exactly what Venables is looking for. But what does this mean for Oklahoma's class? Because we talked about it vaulting them to the number nine class in the nation. First and foremost, they are now in the top 10 classes, and they are doing so with plenty of time left, not only in the month of July, but also until early signing day and national signing day. And this is exactly where you want to be, especially if you're a first-year head coach such as Brent Venables. Because Venables gets to go into the season with his recruiting class in prime position, and he doesn't have to have it looming over his head as he's worried about his first year as a head coach of a program such as the University of Oklahoma, which is a blue-blood institution that expects results. Brent Venables gets to go into the situation knowing his recruiting class is in great position to be able to make more moves, and that I think is a great thing, because you would much rather go into the season with a recruiting class that's almost full, as opposed to one where you still have to do the bulk of your work during the season whenever you're trying to make all of these adjustments. That's not the case for the Oklahoma Sooners, and what's more, Brent Venables has continued to prove he's going to establish a pipeline to Florida. If you're an Oklahoma fan, that's what you love. Because I've talked consistently about how there's a disproportionate amount of talent in two states, Texas and Florida. 
We already know Oklahoma is going to have that pipeline to the state of Texas just by nature of where the state's located and the rivalry that exists between the Texas Longhorns and the Oklahoma Sooners. You're going to be very familiar with that territory. But being able to have a pipeline not only to Texas, but also to Florida is incredibly conducive to success. Remember, I always talk about this. Of the top 300 prospects in all of high school football, 107 come from two states. Texas and Florida. I feel like that's mind-blowing to me that there's such a disproportionate amount of talent stuck in those two states, but Venables is doing a great job establishing the pipeline there, and I don't think it's going to slow down, because they are still in the midst of several top-tier battles, including top players from the state of Florida as they try and battle the Florida Gators, amongst other institutions. So this is going to be something we have to watch, but what a month for the Oklahoma Sooners as they have shot up the recruiting boards, now finding themselves in the top 10 with a fantastic addition and a four-star linebacker who sits as in the top 200 players in all of high school football, regardless of position. And whenever you flip on his film, there's a ton to like, from the tone-setting hits to the form tackling to being asked to cover at the degree he has this is a prospect that I know Oklahoma fans are going to be over the moon with. Can't wait to hear from y'all. That's it. See you.